Right then, so this is the uh, data structure, and this is the static and dynamic data structures. So, first of all, what is data structure? Well, data structure is a collection of data items stored in memory. In addition, a number of operations are provided that the software to manipulate that data structure. So, in addition, there are a number of operations that are provided by the software to manipulate that data structure. Data structure means that there is a relationship of some sort between the data items. Exactly what the relationship is, is determined by what data type, by well, the type of data structure is used. So the operations that might be used are the add, insert, delete or remove, first, next, last and then locate. Now then, the last bit of this video is going to be static and dynamic. So, static data structure, the size of the data of the structure is fixed, so that it cannot change once it has been set. They are very good for storing a defined number of data items, so an example of this would be when you initialize an array in your code. Now, dynamic data structure means that the data structure is allowed to grow and shrink as the demand for storage arises. The programmer should also set a maximum size to help avoid memory collisions because you don't want to make it so it can just infinitely grow so that it takes up way too much space. So a comparison between the static data structure and then the dynamic data structure is that the dynamic, the memory is allocated to the data structure dynamically, so as the program is executed. Then for static, the memory is allocated as compiled at compile time, so it's a fixed size. Dynamic disadvantage is that the possible it is possible for the structure to overflow should it exceed that its allowed limits. It, it can also underflow should it become empty. So when it's empty, there's no more data, so it could underflow. So no really reserved data. But then for uh, static, the advantage is that there's no problem with adding or and removing data, since it's the, the set size really. An advantage of a dynamic structure is it makes the most efficient use of the memory as the structure only uses the amount of memory as it is needed. A disadvantage of the static though is that it is very efficient use of as the memory for the data structure has been set aside regardless of whether it is needed or not whilst the program is executed. So the static is just using up loads of space within the memory so it's not that efficient dynamic it only uses what it needs at that time now for dynamic a disadvan another disadvantage is that it is harder to program as the software needs to keep track of its size and data items located at all times so that is a lot of uh, checking and stuff like that then for a static, the advantage is that it's easier to program as there is no need to check on data structure size at any point since it, it was a set size at the beginning. I hope this video has been helpful for you. The next video, well the next subtopic of this topic is linked lists, stacks and queues. Thanks for watching this video.